Word is out, Magnus would not compete for championship this year either. The greatest of all time has now retired from classical chess. A great journey, a brilliant era has come to an end. You will witness the differences in the playing style from first to last match. How Magnus matured with age, and how deadly he grew up to be with experience. There was a time when he was just a kid starting out in chess world. 14-year-old made the headlines after he got a draw against legendary Garry Kasparov. Everyone was anticipating a great career, and this was his first championship. The year was 2004. Though no one was expecting a miracle, but everyone had seen Fisher, who started out exactly like this. First match of his soon-to-be brilliant career was against 22 years old Levon Aranian. This is how it starts. Magnus with white pieces starting out with d4, which is not what we often see. He loves a 4, especially Rui Lopez nowadays. Levon replies with Nimzo Indian defense. Magnus just takes as much center he can get while Levon strikes back. Magnus is not comfortable in this position. Look at Black's king. That is already castled and safe while Magnus can't castle. I feel sad for this bishop just got off his square and died. Finally, Magnus kicks away the queen, but it joins other side and Magnus is in pressure now. If he played king to d2 d, he could take the knight, but no one knows why he chose this move. Queen's falling off the board and Black has lost his advantage. The game is now completely equal and every piece is holding the position like dominoes. Of course Rook can take the bishop, because Black can give check and capture the Rook back. Both shuffles back and forth and agrees for a draw. Not a great game, but this was the first game. Let's analyze by Stockfish, and Magnus played at an accuracy of 96.3. Look at the approximate rating of 2800. So I'm also played a brilliant middle game, but just fell short a little. Although a great performance by Magnus, but nothing close to what he will do in upcoming years. Magnus lost the next game to Levon and ends the tournament on 65th place out of 102-0 world. Fast forward to 17 years later, the pandemic is now almost over and everyday activities are slowly restarting. After a competitive World Chess Championship of 2021, the final match is between Magnus and Ian, which has to win while Magnus could draw the game. He has nothing to prove now to anyone, nothing that he hasn't achieved yet. A terrific career that started by a draw is now in its last stages, but no one knows it yet. Christian he already has four championships and is now going for his fifth one. This time Magnus plays with black pieces. Ian goes with e4, which is weird because as we talked before, this is what Magnus is unbeatable at. Christian chose to go with Italian, which is again weird because Magnus knows this middle game better than anyone. Ian is not the favorite for this game and yet he has to win. So he will have to take risks. Instead of castling, Magnus goes with a five. This is the difference between these two matches. How confident Magnus is that he's the one calling shots and attacking without castling? While in the previous match he was getting attacked and Levon was trying to stop him from castling. Bringing knight back is such a passive move that he chose instead of closing this dark squared bishop by d4. First we enter a bishop, less middle game. Ian is rerouting knights, while Magnus is preparing himself to launch a deadly attack. Center opens up and this is the silence moments before thunderstorm. Ian thought of attacking rook while his knight is under attack which was a blunder. Magnus just gave his rook away, and now the queen is ready to join with every other piece. Knight joins the attack and white king is seriously under attack. This d-pawn is white's last hope, but... Queens fall off the board and black captures rook with a check, which is the only way that pawn can be stopped. Ian with a pawn down, and his rook is stuck, defending this pawn and all that against the greatest endgame player. Magnus also has a passed pawn. Magnus showcases an amazing endgame performance while in fights back, where pawns falling to the board, and Magnus sacrifices Rook to promote to a queen. Ian tries to play more, but it's over now. Magnus wins the championship for fifth time. Totally one-sided gameplay with accuracy of 94.8, but approximate rating this time is 2850. Thanks for watching, here comes Banger Outro.